Hello guys, this is Damian from forexboat.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So I'm coming back to you with the 5 minute chart of the Australian dollar American dollar forex pair. This is a chart where I see a pure bearish trend which is currently getting broken in bullish direction. Meaning that we might have a very nice opportunity to trade in bullish direction in order to catch potential reversal on the chart. For this reason, I will immediately buy the Australian dollar, American dollar forex pair for half lot. And after I did this, I will explain why. I decided to do this and based on what signals I took this decision. I made this decision. First of all, we have a bullish breakout through a bearish trend. A first indication that the price might be reversing on the chart. Second, I see that the breakout was provoked as a result of the formation of another bullish price move on the chart. I marked this move with the purple bullish line you see on the chart or the pink line. When we zoom in at the one minute chart, this is how the move looks like. And we're able to mark it with our line. Notice that the bottoms on the one minute chart are not very well contained by the bullish line I just built on the chart. However, when we switch to the five minute chart, we see that the line works pretty well. This is the second reason I believe that the price will increase further. As you see, the purple bullish line pushed the price action through the red bearish trend because the price got sandwiched between the, the pink bullish trend and the red bearish trend. As a result, uh, the purple bullish trend overpowered the red bearish trend and the price broke the bearish tendency in bullish direction. Now, if we keep following this pink bearish trend, we can conclude that the price is likely to increase in this case. At the same time, we currently see that the price of the Australian dollar, American dollar is currently breaking above its previous top on the chart. This is the previous top on the chart. Somewhere at 0 0.7661 approximately. And the current candle shoots up. And our trade is currently breaking even. And now the price is stepping back again. Something normal with the dynamic price action. After breaking its previous high on the chart, the price is now approaching our entry point which I'm going to mark with the white line on the chart. Now let's protect our trade with a stop loss order. I assume that a good level for our stop loss order would be the one that is located below the previous bottom on the chart that tests the purple bullish trend line. For this reason, I'm going to place the stop loss order somewhere at 0 0.7653. Okay. In case there is a high volatility or something very high trading volumes, I will be able to contain 
eventual sharp price moves against my trade. At the same time, I remind again that when you place a stop loss order on the chart, you shouldn't necessarily wait for the price action to hit the stop loss order in order to close a losing trade. If you see that things do not happen the way you plan them, simply close the trade without waiting for the stop loss order to be hit. Now I'm going to use the Fibonacci levels to determine eventual target on the chart. Notice that the price is currently shooting through the 61.8 Fibonacci level. By the way, I just broke even. Uh, my trade is currently on profit, which is a pretty good outcome in this case. And since the 61.8 Fibonacci level is broken, the next level which is left for my target is the 100 Fibonacci level. For this reason, I'm going to place a take profit order over there, somewhere at 0 0.7674. And... I will stay in the trade at least until the price action hits that level. If this happens, my trade will close automatically and I will collect my profit. Now let's mark the take profit order in case the trade gets close so I'll be able to have a visual basis for my levels. Take profit order at 0 0.7674. And stop loss order at 0 0.7653. Okay. I have my levels on the chart. Uh, my target is... Uh, on something like 10 pips distance from my entry point and now when I divide 10 pips which is 0 0.001 when I divide it uh, by my entry price at 0 0.7664 I will get my percentage target from this rate We see the price that the price is hesitating somewhere in the middle of my trade, a bit below by the midpoint of my target. Okay, when we divide the 10 pips target by the entry price of 0 0.7664, uh, we get that this trade is shooting for 0.13% profit. Meaning that if the price hits our take profit order and we stay in the trade until the end, we will collect profit of 0.13% on the capital invested in the trade. Now I'm going to do something interesting. Since the price is located at the middle of my trade, I will try to adjust my stop loss order so I will break even from this trade. Over here. Now my trade is 100% winner. I mean, it's a very slight winner since the distance between my stop loss order and my entry point is very small, but at least this is a currently 
100% risk-free trade because if the price hits the stop loss order this will happen above our entry point meaning that the trade will still be successful although the success will be very small but it is a fact that I'm currently in the market with a risk-free trade and I'm still trying to hit a 10 pips target so now I'm gonna pause the video and I will come back to you with the results from this trade okay guys I'm back about 10 minutes later to see that the price action is shooting in bullish direction I wanted to shoot this for you what I'm going to do is to adjust my stop loss order even higher in order to to contain more of the already gained profit from the trade because as you see the price is there very close to my take profit order but it's still not touching it meaning that uh, there is a chance that the price not hit the take profit order and I would uh, I wouldn't want to close a, like a like a zero profit trade uh, when I am actually so close to hit my 10 pips target this is why I, I closed a bit more of the trade by adjusting my stop loss order higher and now the guaranteed profit I have is like from 0 0.7664 to 0 0.7668 so I closed like 4 pips profit in this trade which means that the trade is a 100% winner the profit is guaranteed and it's 4 pips the trade is totally risk-free not that it's only a risk-free trade but we're 100 percent winners i repeat again so in this trade we can either profit four pips or 10 pips if the price hits my last target at 0 0.7674 so i pause the video again and i'll come back to you with the results from this trade okay guys i'm back about 30 minutes later to tell you that the price action has reversed and has hit my stop loss order closing my trade on 4 pips profit uh, notice that as you remember the last time I got back to you I decided to move the stop loss order higher because I saw that the price action approached my take profit level at 0 0.7674 but then it got back and I assumed that uh, this actually might be the end of the current bullish price impulse this is why i adjusted the stop loss order on four pips distance at 78 something right over here the price returned over here created this decrease hit my stop loss order and now it is creating a second bottom which is like a sign that um, the price is probably uh, going to create a pullback anyway the trade is profitable I adjusted my stop loss order to create a risk-free trade and to stay in the trade uh, and in the market and as a result of this and the second adjustment of my stop loss order I got the four pips uh, I was talking about so now I will tell you what is the percentage profit from this trade. I divide 0 0.0004, which is 4 pips. I divide it uh, by 0 0.7664, which is my entry price. 0 0.7664. And the result is 0 0.0005220. And when I multiply this by 100 in order to receive a percentage, I receive 0.052% profit from this trade. Although this looks like a very small and insignificant amount, I remind you that we got the 0.052% after trading for like each candle is 5 minutes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 candles this is like 55 minutes or actually the trade was closed over here meaning that uh, i was in the trade for like 40 minutes and 0 
uh, percent profit for 40 minutes I believe is a pretty decent amount so thank you very much for watching this was Damian from forexbolt.com looking forward to see you on the next live forex trading session and until then I wish you happy trading